Hi there. Today I thought I'd have a quick chat about linked markets within the automation feature of Fairbot. I think I've mentioned them before, but I've never actually demonstrated them in action. So I've cobbled up this little strategy here. Um, don't try this at home. I haven't tested it to see if it's actually financially viable, uh, but it gives me the opportunity to demonstrate what I wanted to show you today. Essentially, it's, this particular strategy is predicated on the idea that the number of places available in the place market aren't necessarily filled by the top horses in the corresponding win market. So what we're actually going to use this to do is to check the number of places available and then we're going to dutch that number of runners that are just outside the top runners in the market. In other words, if there's two places available in the place market, we'll dutch the third and fourth favourites in the win market. If there's three places available, we'll dutch the fourth, fifth, and sixth runners in the win market. And you probably guess by now, we'll do the, five, the fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth runners if there's four places available. So let's just have a quick look at uh, the first of these. These are essentially all the same uh, other than the conditions. So let me just show you what's happening in here. If we go to the conditions statement here, we'll see that we have this check here that checks for number of places. And this is the thing I wanted to show you. By default, that option there, the default option is selected when you go in to check conditions. By choosing other, we can choose any of the other related markets for this particular event. So we're going to choose a place and that then allows us to check how many places there are. So this is going to check to see if there's two places available. And if there is, it will place the corresponding Dutch. So we switch to the action. All we're doing is doing a standard Dutch. A back Dutch, of course. Stake £100. Back odds in ascending order. Um, this is actually configured. This rule is configured to enter now, even though I'm a good two hours or so before the start of the race. So it's going to Dutch the third and fourth in the win market. And it's going to Dutch at the best back odds plus five ticks. And that's it. All the other ones are essentially the same thing. We check for the number of places in the place market and Dutch accordingly. So you'll see here we're doing three to four, four to six. And that should be, I need to change that, that should be five to eight. Now these are configured to actually take these bets in just now. As I said earlier, uh, way ahead of schedule. So I'll just save this and we'll see it in action. Okay, so we just simply need to assign this. This is the first race at Lingfield, and it's the demo linked markets. Now, a number of things you'll have seen happening there. First of all, you'll see that the place market has been entered into the watch list. So Fairbot needs it to be in the watch list to be able to uh, monitor that market as well. And you'll see that the Dutch three runners at three place has been executed. The other two haven't. And if we switch back to the My Bets, you'll see those bets going in. Let me just minimize this that way. I have the grid sorted in uh, order of back odds. And so these three runners are the fourth, fifth, and sixth. Now, obviously, on this strategy, if you're going to be taking it in play and so on, you would have some sort of green out process or whatever. But that's not the purposes of this uh, demo. It's simply to let you see how to link markets. Now, in actual fact, you can do more than that. These things here are only checking another, another market. What you can do is get this to place the bet into another market. So, for example, 
If I come back in here and edit these rules and change the default to the win market, and we'll do the same on the other two. Oops, wrong one. Change this to win market, and similarly, the last one. Right, let me just reset that. Let me just get rid of those bets. If we switch back to the market watch list, if I open up the place market and assign the demo strategy to the place market, okay, you'll see that this rule has been run. The strategy is linked to the place market, not the win market. And if I switch to my bets, you'll see there's no bets in the place market. But if we switch to the win market, there they are there. So that can be a useful tool. You'll see that you can create a strategy that can you be used in any linked market within an event. And you can actually send bets from one market to another market. So this, although this is a very simple demonstration, it does let you see the power of that tool. So you could theoretically be using strategies that predominantly work in, let's say, the unders over market in a football match, but based on the conditions that happen in that market, send bets to the correct score market, for example. So that may be something that you would like to have a wee look at. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers.